Hi, this is Steve Barney. I'm the Executive Director of the Arts Hancock County, and we're here today on special assignment with the Mississippi Arts Commission talking about Arts Day. And I'm here with Elise Dino. She's on the board of the Arts Hancock County. She founded Ruth's Roots. Tell us a little bit about Ruth's Roots. So Ruth's Roots started when I was the youth court judge here, and I started it because I got awarded a, a juvenile drug court program, and I wanted something different to do with my drug court kids. And so what started as a garden where really we could work the dirt and plant things and learn about farm to table and all those things has turned into really a, the biggest community spot in the county. Well, let's go inside and take a look around and see how Ruth's Roots is contributing to the community. Several libraries, free little libraries, different things. We have a food box, which is wildly popular where we keep food. Um, obviously, hunger and security is a big deal for us. We also have free seeds. These are some boards, as you can see. This community is amazing. Um, and so we ask people in the community, not just artists, whoever, to take a fence board and paint it. And we have gotten some amazing, incredible work. And I love the color, and I love the diversity, and I love the fact that everyone has ownership in this garden through art. This is a piece of a board that was done by Andrew Switzer. We can see, like, all of this is carved by, out of wood. It's going to be a butterfly piece. We released last year over a thousand monarch butterflies from this garden. And so he is putting butterfly, the whole life cycle of a butterfly. We have, we had an art contest here, and we had everyone paint different art, you know, Pick different pieces of the concrete and paint it. Um, this is a grotto that a local artist Yuki Northington made. We have bunnies, we have butterflies, we have chickens. I just had to chase one not too long ago. They escaped. I don't need that. We obviously have all of the plants and herbs. All of these things are free for the taking. So the initial first thing I started hearing in 2021 is that we weren't going to have Mardi Gras. And if you know South Mississippi and South Louisiana, that's a no-no. Like, we love our Mardi Gras. That's our jam. So we decided to start Hancock House Floats and say, well, we can't parade. Fair enough. But decorate your houses and let's let people drive around and see the houses. Just like when I was a kid, my mom and dad, every Christmas would put me in the car and drive me around looking at Christmas lights and it was like magical. I wanted that to be that for people for Mardi Gras. Really, it was such an organic thing that turned into such magic and it was awesome. 